Hi, I'm Travis Elliott with National Control Devices, and today I'm going to introduce you to a whole new communication protocol to our products. We finally found an embedded Wi-Fi solution that is good enough, we think, to put into our products. We were lucky enough to find this Wi-Fi embedded module from Roving Networks that just happens to be an absolute perfect fit for our relay controllers. This uh, little module here plugs into the existing line of controllers we already offered, including the TerraList, the Reactor, the KeyFob, the ProXR, and ProXR Lite series. Now, this opens up a whole new horizon of applications that are going to make our products really suitable for you. These, uh, these modules um, are very easy to configure. Uh, they're very easy to communicate with. And like I said, they couldn't be more perfect for our products. Now, we're going to have a whole video showing you how to actually configure this module and get it set up for your new board. But I just kind of wanted to go overview uh, of the Wi-Fi module itself in this video, just to kind of give you a little introduction to it. Now, this module accepts UDP and TCP socket connections, which really uh, make it useful in a wide array of applications. Um, I happen to have one um, plugged into a board here to my left, and we developed an Android application that can actually control our relay boards. For more information on that, be sure and check out our Android Wi-Fi products. Um, and just to show you just to how simple this thing is, I just open the application here, and it goes to the screen with the relay control. And I can turn the relay on and off. I have the relay wired to a little lamp over here. Um, and communication speed of Wi-Fi over a local area network is extremely fast. Now, these modules support um, a lot of very important things. For one, they support uh, configuration over a UART connection, which basically means we can plug this module into a modem with a USB connection, and you can connect the modem to your computer, and then you can actually configure the module. And like I said, we'll get more into that in the actual setup video. But this is extremely, extremely important with Wi-Fi devices, because if the device is Wi-Fi, and it doesn't have any kind of wired connection for configuration, well, it's kind of the chicken or the egg thing, you know? It, you can't get the Wi-Fi module onto your network and communicate with it to configure it without configuring it for your network. So being able to just take this Wi-Fi module and plug it into this modem and then plug that into your computer and run a configuration utility is extremely important. And that's what we were really waiting for for an embedded Wi-Fi device to make it look to make it really uh, really useful and really practical to use. Um, another very important thing is these modules do support static IP addressing. Now, if you know what that is, um, it's probably important to your application. Just know that you can assign a static IP address to these modules. You can also give these modules a server IP address and port number to connect to on PowerUp. So if you have a computer running a server application, the module can power up, connect to that server application, and then the server application can in turn control the device. Um, the devices also have a configurable name for what it will appear as over your network. So instead of having just a real generic name, you can change it to, uh, say I have a board installed in my living room controlling the lights, I can actually tell it to uh, show up on my network as living room lights. So it makes it really easy to identify. So with the with the TCP connection ability and the UDP connection ability, these things are really great. We're going to have a lot of example software. In fact, if you already have software written for some of our Ethernet controllers, it'll seamlessly work with this new module. It's the exact same thing as an actual Ethernet device. It just happens to be wireless, so you don't have to run an Ethernet cable to it. So we're really excited about this, uh, this communication protocol becoming a part of our products. Like I said, we have it available here in the, in the TerraList series. Uh, we have it available in the ProXR Lite series. We have it available in the ProXR series, the Reactor series, 
and the key fob series. So um, really being able to integrate this module into so many different series of products we already offer, as soon as we got the things in, we had a huge list of new, new controllers for you guys to use. So I think that these things are going to work really well for you guys. I'm really excited to get these out on the market and for you all to start using them and giving us feedback and, and we just can continue to make the product better. So I hope you'll check out these new series of controllers. If you have any questions on them at all, please let us know and we'll be happy to help you. So I hope this video was useful. Be sure and check out the conf Wi-Fi configuration uh, video that's uh, really going to be really in-depth with how to set these things up. Also be sure and check out our Android Wi-Fi product line um, which works with, uh, with an app so you can control these Wi-Fi devices from your smartphone or your Android tablet. And uh, I think you're really going to find some neat new things coming from this, this new communication protocol. So thanks for watching. I hope this was useful, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.